Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. If you haven't seen my past videos, it's all about using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge to integrate these devices into Apple HomeKit. The whole idea is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. So please do take a look and don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, in my past videos, I've integrated my Synology NAS 218 Plus using Docker. And in today's video, I'm gonna take it a step further by converting my NAS device into a universal Zigbee hub. How do I do that? I'm using this device called the Foxconn Con B2, which is a universal Zigbee USB gateway. This is all done by plugging the device into the available USB port in your NAS. And in my case, I've used a USB cable extension and plugged it into the device. As you'll know, I'm on a quest to integrate my not-so-certified IoT device into Apple HomeKit. And by using this device, it makes me much more easier and it suits me perfectly to integrate my Sonoff, Xiaomi and Akara Zigbee devices uh, using this uh, USB pen drive. And this makes me less dependent with the vendor's cloud services. I have broken down the video into three parts and left the timestamps in the description. They are a quick product overview, um, the Docker install, and third part is the app overview. So let's not waste time like I always say and let's jump into this. If you still have with you in today's day age a uh, USB pen drive, then the Combi 2 USB uh, drive has the same shape and size. It's uh, the only difference is instead of being able to carry data, it's a universal Zigbee USB gateway. Uh, it's a crowd-free solution, works with popular home systems uh, and uh, is compatible with uh, multiple vendors. One good thing is what I love is it works without the cloud, no registration required total local control. It's got a good list of compatibility uh, devices uh, like Philips, Ikea, Xiaomi, Osram, Akara. So some very good popular brands. It also already comes with native device support. Platform independent, so it works with Docker. It works on a, on a PC as well. So if you have a NAS and also it, it works very well. Good thing is it supports multiple home automation systems from Home Assistant, Hoops, OpenHab, HomeBridge. So uh, very good compatibility and most important, it's got a good signal range, uh, 30 meters in building and 200 meters in uh, free line of sight. So that small little thing does a good job and keeps everything uh, local for you. Now for the dock install, the first things first, let's log into our server and uh, let's open up Docker. And the first thing you want to look for is uh, the container. So let's type the cons. And uh, let's download this first one. So uh, it's around about 250 MB file. So double click on it and uh, select latest. And while that's happening, let's go into our terminal and let's uh, SSH into the server. And the first thing you want to do is, is uh, go in, in as a super user. And we're going to, going to paste two commands just to make sure that the, the uh, Synology NAS registers the pen drive uh, into its kernel. So uh, if there's any reboot, restarts, it automatically recognizes the device. You're going to paste this first command, hit enter. We're going to paste the second command. Both these commands are going to be in the description. And once that is done, just type this one. And we should see that uh, a new device has been registered over here. So USB serial support registered over FTDI USB serial device. Once this is completed, uh, we can confirm that the kernel, the Linux kernel of the Synology drive uh, has been registered with this device. So now let's head, head, head over back. Let's exit out from here. And let's see if the image has been downloaded. Okay, so the image has been downloaded. It's around about 284 megabytes. And uh, to install this, let's go to the Docker web page. And uh, before we uh, add in the command line, let's go into the server and let's create two folders, which is dcons, that's folder number one. And within dcons, we create another folder called uh, opt. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's open up the command prompt 
and uh, let's go and copy this one clear so let's paste the command line I have it in the description as well so over here what you want to do is you want to make sure that the device is TTY a CMO if you go to the description uh, it clearly states what kind of device you have to use for each of its products so if it's a Conbi it's USB 0 if it's the Conbi 2 that we have it's uh, this value if you're using the Raspi uh, it's either these two values so you want to make sure that uh, you uh, add in the device and uh, the volume uh, uh, is docker decons opt and this uh, value over here all you got to do is copy from here now once again i'm going to have this all in the, into the description all you got to do is copy paste and make sure that the volume is uh, mounted correctly so let's go over here and once that is done let's hit enter so there you are uh, you've got the uh, docker container installed and uh, let's head over to the server containers and you have it up and running now once you have it up and running one of the things uh, i noticed was that the web port and is is already used in my network so what i did was let's stop it edit we go to environment and I just changed this one to 8081 apply and let's restart it let's give it a couple of seconds once it's running let's open up a new tab and the IP address of your NAS Synology and 8081 so there we are uh, it has detected uh, the USB device which is the CONB2 and uh, we had the container up and running 100%. This is the web interface of uh, the Foscon uh, gateway. On clicking on the device, uh, this is uh, the gateway name. You can uh, change it if you want. And you can also give in uh, two passwords. So I'm just gonna use something very simple, which is eight characters. And you can proceed directly into searching for lights if they are into the pairing mode. And uh, in this case, since we're all in the, in the installation and configuration, let's uh, proceed without lights. You can uh, create a group. Uh, the first thing first, you want to go into the uh, gateway settings. This is, you can see the vendor, the product, the firmware. And if you go into advanced, you can uh, add in your time zone. And uh, you can also uh, update the view if you want to uh, English or German are the two languages and for now the theme is only set to bright uh, you can also see all of the lights uh, installed switches sensors and uh, it comes with a default daylight sensor and if you go into the uh, main web page there's a lot of things that you can do over here by adding groups uh, scenes and editing them doing uh, advanced uh, configurations so uh, this is what from the web interface uh, you can do very simple very clean and uh, the most important thing is in the next video we will go more into depth uh, in using the uh, Foscon Combi 2 Zigbee gateway finally there we are we have installed and configured the Foxconn Combi 2 uh, Zigbee universal gateway using docker into our Synology NAS 218 plus in our next week's video we will integrate it with Sonoff Xiaomi and Akara Zigbee devices and bring them all over to Apple HomeKit using a plugin via Hoops. So stay tuned for that as well. Now to keep all of this going, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button because that's a real driver, that's a real motivator. The more the merrier. And if you have any doubts, don't feel shy to put down your comments as well. I'll be glad to assist you. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day and happy automation.